Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Kev's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. Today, we're going to be talking about Lucid, and we're going to talk about why they're going to dominate the market right alongside Tesla. Let's get straight into the video. We're going to be breaking this up into several segments, so do stay tuned so that you get a broad picture of every single segment. Leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy the video, and now let's jump right into manufacturing. So this is the current uh, product plan. It is the first green field factory in North America, and it's that's dedicated to electric vehicle manufacturing. It's about 590 acres, in, and it's located in Casa Grande, Arizona. Um, the construction time, it took just under one year, and about in on November 1st, or no, no, sorry, December 1st, uh, 2020 is when it was finished and the production capacity allows it to make 30,000 units per year initially. So this upcoming year where production is approximately going to start in this spring, um, we'll see around 30,000 units capable of being uh, created initially. And then it's going to be able to ramp up to 400,000 units per year in not too long, honestly, because they're already um, going towards phase two as the, it got approved. And so that's the factory that we're working with. And honestly, in my opinion, it's gorgeous. It's gonna, it, it's gonna shock the market because not the only person that stands a chance to Tesla is Lucid. Just with this factory alone and with this crazy manufacturing, we're off to a great start and we're already off to chasing that amazing goal of dominating the market. All right, now we're gonna move into car design and specs, which is a bit more you know, entertaining as the factory is simply a factory, even though we can show the inside and everything, but you know, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get straight into car design now. So the car was designed to have a gorgeous look. I'll prop it up right here. And as we can see, it, it looks amazing right here next to this jet. It just, it looks so nice. Like we can see, oh my God, this car, it, it just looks like, it looks like a luxury car. Like it really does. And now if we're gonna talk about the specs, uh, I'll slide the image over so we can look at this next picture. Um, it, and this is a picture from the Motley Fool and it shows the Lucid Air compared to the Model S. So obviously as you can see, the range is 517 miles for the Lucid Air versus 412 for the Model S, efficiency 4.5 versus 4.0, and basically we beat the Tesla Model S in five out of six of the categories. And honestly, that's, that's pretty impressive for a car company to be able to put up with that kind of competition against um, against the Model S, it's crazy. Um, I'll prop up some, now, uh, let me prop up some of these specs right here. We got a dual active core motor, which is pretty incredible. We got a 1,080 horsepower for this car, which is, it's honestly mind blowing, but there's not many cars that have a 1,080 horsepower, just like on, the, on a car that's not even crazy souped up. So, um, as we saw before, the zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, it's ridiculous, honestly. And with a top speed of 168 miles per hour, which is pretty remarkable because when it's souped up and like ready to race, it, I think they exceeded 217 or something along those lines, which is even more mind blowing. But just like the model that the consumer will get will achieve over 168 miles per hour, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. All right. so. I think now we're gonna be able to, sorry for backing up, we're gonna be able to move in to the next step. Let's talk about the people leading the company. Right up here, as you can see, is Peter Rawlinson. Peter Rawlinson is a CEO and CTO. He's responsible for all the strategic and business aspects of the company. He's also responsible for the creation and the delivery of all the Lucid products, of course. He's been in the automotive industry for about 30 years, which is pretty remarkable. And he was the vice, he was the vice president of vehicle engineering at Tesla and the chief engineer of the Model S. He led the engineering of the Model S from a clean sheet to production readiness while building the engineering team, which is pretty remarkable. You know, 
the fact that he can multitask so much in Tesla and that he can accomplish such great things in Tesla really shows us who we're working with and how much they're gonna, he's going to change the world with Lucid. He was also a chief engineer of Lotus Cars and a principal engineer of Jaguar Cars as well, which alongside his Tesla experience, is it's pretty broad. He's worked at many companies and designed many gorgeous cars, and especially the Model S, the fact that five out of six of the categories that we showed earlier in the specs beats out the Model S, it's pretty incredible seeing this is their first car. And I know Lucid's been around for a while, and before, Lucid, before it was called Lucid Motors, they worked on just racing and on, on building the motors. And so that's why they have such incredible motors now. And I will, I'll prop up a picture right here of all, of all the motors together, as you can see here. Um, it's pretty incredible how much they're beating the competition with just the motors. All right, now we're gonna move on to Michael Bell. Let's pop him up right here. So, Michael Bell, he's a senior vice president of digital. He was just added to the company. And most recently, he was a chief technology officer or CTO at Rivian. And honestly, he's also been in the tech field for about 30 years, which 16 of it was at Apple and five was at Intel. And as we know, or as we speculate, um, Intel is, is oh, well, obviously, sorry, sorry for starting, but Intel moved in, to, is moving into Arizona and they're building supposedly two new factories, two new chip factories since we're in a big chip shortage and they're going to spend around $20 billion on building factories here in the U.S. right in Arizona, which is, you know, they go walk down and give some tech to <laughs> Lucid, you know, I think we should all be on board with that. And also he's worked for Apple and there were, there's much speculation about Apple and the potential of uh of the companies working together. However, this is pure speculation as we have no true evidence of this. We have we just have mere speculation of putting the dots together, which sometimes you kind of have to do, but we, we're not sure what's gonna end up happening with that, but we will see. He also, um, he helped, he, like he played really significant roles on the iPhone, the iMac, the airport, the Apple TV products. And you know, it's very interesting that we have people like Michael Bell, and we have people, um, sorry, now bringing the focus back to me. Uh, <laughs> we have people like Michael Bell, we have people like Peter Rawlinson, and there's many more great people on this team, on this executive part of the team, that's focusing on building the, great, the greatest car we can get, on building the greatest technology that we can get. And this company, honestly, it seems like this, it has the same root as Tesla, has great people who are great at building cars, who were focusing on engineers, not like Fisker, who focuses on design. They've had many issues because they're so crazy about design. No, you need to be focused on engineering. That's why Elon Musk has succeed, succeeded so much because he's an engineer at heart and he said that many times himself. You know, engineering is really what is really the true byproduct of success when it comes to the when it comes to the automotive industry. And so the fact that we have such great engineers and such great tech moguls on our team on the, or yeah, I'll say on our team, or, or investors <laughs> on the Lucid team, you know, it's incredible how much we can accomplish with this incredible team. Okay, now we can move in to Lucid's potential projections, or my future projections for Lucid, and why I have them, and how much we can truly expand. And obviously, we're going to be using Tesla as our benchmark for this, because they're the only company that's a true EV play. I mean, of course, there's Neo, and there's x -Bing, and there's there's other, there's Rivian, you know, there's there's many other, GM, Ford, etc. But Tesla's the big guy, it's a big dog, you know? It's the only one that we're really gonna be somewhat clashing against as time goes on. So let me go straight into the future projections and what I think and what is possible for a stock price and how much, how much we can really gain from investing in this company now. All right, let's go straight into it and future projections will be interesting, so stay tuned. So Tesla's produced 500,000 cars in 2020, and Lucid has already sold $650 million worth of pre-orders, and that's, that's pretty remarkable if you ask me. You know, we already, they already have some money. They, they have billions of dollars already just sitting in cash, and after this, they merge with CCIV, they're going to have a lot of cash, and this is a good head start 
on all the other companies, you know, apart from Tesla. Tesla's like unlimited funding at this point. But, you know, they do have a big cash. Like they have a bunch of cash and it'll, it'll allow them to go all the way and expand into the SUV uh, for Project Gravity, which of course I'm pretty sure we all know of, but if not, I'll prop the car right here for Project Gravity. But also the patents were leaked here and that was pretty interesting. But anyways, let me stop sidetracking. Let's move straight into future projections. So honestly, the projections for Lucid, I'll prop them up right here on the screen. Um, my projections for Lucid, they're, they're a bit ambitious, you know. At $23 per share, we're at about a $43.7 billion valuation. This is interesting because at $60, we're at a $114 billion valuation. You know, I don't think it's too tough. Even, even getting the $30 per share, that's a $7 gain per share, which doesn't sound too interesting when you think about it, when you see it like that. But you know, it, it's a big deal. If Lucid with no, well, well I don't wanna say no sales because they have pre, you know, pre-sales, but um, what's it called? Sorry, <laughs> if they get, they can get to 50 bucks a share, easy. If you buy in now, which I'm not telling you to buy in now, I'm just saying what I'm doing now, like I keep buying more shares of an average cost of about 24.9 because I did buy a couple of shares a bit too high. Um, currently under 30 is game, but for this next month until April and May, or maybe even the next two months until April and May subside because of all the CPI data that's going to come out and the fear of the market, I'm personally, I'm not worried about it, but, um, you know, a lot of investors are worried about it and I'm not going to take the risk of buying above 30 or even buying above 25 at this point because, it, it makes no sense because it's going to keep dipping as, as, there, as there's peak fear right now and you're better off getting the best deal but keep buying the dibs you know uh that's what i'm doing i'm just gonna keep let me, i'm gonna bring the attention back to myself because i don't want you guys just looking at a spreadsheet but you know i'm just gonna keep buying the dibs it makes a lot of sense to buy the dip you know get some more shares on but right now my price target which i'll show you guys my Weibo account right now i'll show you the price target so as you can see the in between the two red lines um, my price targets anywhere, uh, like obviously if it goes below 20, if it goes lower than 25, I'm all in, you know, uh, under 25 is really where my price target is right now. And then above 25 and it, it passed April, I'll start thinking about it, you know, above 25, but right now I'm not too ambitious. Like, like I, I love Lucid. I'm all in on Lucid. It's hundred percent of my portfolio, which isn't a massive portfolio, but you know, <laughs> I'm only 15. This is only so big my portfolio can be at this stage, but I'm all in on Lucid. You know, I love the company. I love the financials. I love everything that's going to go on and project. <laughs> Sorry, my camera just cut out there. But going back to valuation, genuinely, I don't believe that, or I'd sorry, I do believe that it won't be that difficult for Lucid to get to a crazy, not a crazy valuation, but to a much higher valuation. Um, at 30 bucks per share, they're like a $57 billion valuation. You know, Tesla's like 11, 12 times that. Yeah, 12 times that. Uh, Tesla's currently sitting at like about a $600 billion valuation at $620 per share. That's, that's a big valuation. You know, they've only, they only produced 500,000 cars in, um, 2020, you know, it's not that crazy. I know they've been around for a long time and they have pretty great autonomy but they didn't produce a ridiculous amount of cars so you know lucid being able to produce a, about almost a billion dollars worth of sales just like launching that that caught my eye you know i know they're not like set in stone they haven't delivered the cars but you know pre-orders are important it's important to see that people that consumers want they want the car you know and that's that's important so um, looking at it, I think that if Tesla with 500,000 cars, and obviously it took them a long time to get there, but 500,000 cars isn't a lot. You know, the Casa Grande, long story short, my camera messed up and it cut out a bunch of stuff and I have to re-record it, but the beginning was good. Anyways, let's just keep talking about valuation. So personally, I think we could end with Lucid at about 100, anywhere from $60 to $120 by the end of year and then i think that that is somewhat conservative and then we will keep seeing how lucid progresses how their sales go and everything along those lines in order to push us into new levels of the stock 
but those are simply my projections. I think Lucid will be a great rival to Tesla in the near future, and that they will expand on all the autonomous driving we have now, and that they will be one of the top three leaders in the um, in the <laughs> in the autonomous race. And so, uh, yeah, sorry for all my mess ups. Sorry for the cameras coming out. We're gonna move on now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to Weeble in the description below where when you deposit your first hundred dollars, you get two free stocks. And um, it's, it might be time for you to start your investing journey and maybe you're invested in Lucid or CCIV at the moment. And yeah, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry for all the interruptions and all the mess ups that my camera's been having issues. But that, that'll be all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want more content about Lucid and about your mindset, productivity, and much more. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. This was Kev's Mindset.